My name is Dale Vince. I'm the founder of Ecotricity. I've set myself a challenge. I'm going to build a wind-powered car. It'll be an electric car charged from the wind, so there's zero emissions from it. I want to build a sports car, out-and-out -out sports car. That's the challenge, a wind-powered car. The stage we're at now is that the, all the cells are going to go in and be wired up. Then the transmission assembly can go in and then all the body panels and the rest of the chassis. Then we can do some shakedown work, we can get Dale in the car to drive it. We might be lucky and it all works straight out the box and it's fantastic. Or in the real world there'll be something that we'll probably have to look at. We're not going to know until we've actually run it what sort of power level we'll, uh, we can get out of it um, safely how the battery is going to perform and we can, we can do all of those sorts of tests without the rest of the electronics being in place. It's going to work, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how well it does perform. Tim is just selecting one or two cells that are a bit low and he's putting some extra charge into those to try and bring them up so we've got a full charge. So the plan is we'll go to Tibbenham in the morning, run the car for a bit Fingers crossed everything well, we'll bring it back here, we'll charge the batteries up again and take it to Snetterton in the evening. That wasn't too good because that was foot on the floor just to make it move. I gave it half throttle and nothing happened. So there's something not quite right there. Let's get it there, let's get it unloaded and see, see if it will creep along at all. Tim has got a little problem with the car. We done all the test work with the car at the moment on the trestles and he has to run it in speed control to do that. This morning to put it on the transport is the first time it's running torque control and it's not working properly so he needs to get back into his vehicle system computer and reprogram some of it. It's fine, I'm just waiting to drive it. It should be, um, should be a good day today if they crack the problem and we get to fire it up some you know. Just about to find out. Go on. You're lighter than I am. It should only do 25 miles an hour. That's good. Better than that. I'm better. I'm better now. Yeah. Right. We make it go a bit faster. Yep. Do you want to go faster? In effect, we had full braking on as well as traction on. So in other words, the power that was going out was coming straight back again. Um, so, but that was close run, actually, being able to reprogram the computers on the fly like that. If something really goes amiss, then bash, bash that one. Yeah, okay. Else. So it's the fan button. Yeah. And then better fire press that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. All right then. Prepare to hang on to your breakfast. <laughs> this thing kind of moves.
It's probably the fastest car I've ever been in. Easily. I kind of feel you know, pushed in the back of the seat. Kind of like some you know, mad fairground ride. Beyond my wildest dreams, really. It was just fantastic. It went really, really well. We've still got some more to do because we're going to Snetterton next. And we can see how our temperatures in our coolant and our casings and things like that are faring out of the box. So here we are at Snetterton and you can see what's happening. It's just a complete washout. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it was very good. Gail's happy, I'm happy. So we're going to go away and just do some little improvements and tweaks on the car and get it so that Dale can have it at home and use it. Ah, the name. Oh, the name, name game. Nemesis, I still like that. I've still got a spot for that. I can see it, you know, that's a kind of nemesis looking machine.